Hagen. We have girls in the United uh, in the room today from Greater Philadelphia, from Georgia, from Virginia, from the nation's capital. And representing those girls is Don Don Cesar. Will you come forward, please? And Susan Warwick. And they have some very special presentations they'd like to make to you. And Mrs. Reagan, this is Ms. Susan Warwick, who is going to make a presentation. May I present to you, Ms. Reagan, Mrs. Reagan, this scroll offering the thanks of almost three million Girl Scouts for your active involvement to, in the fight to keep American youth free from drugs and alcohol. Don Cesar, who has a presentation for you. Mr. President, I would like to present our Girl Scouts most active citizenship badge to our most active to our country's most active citizen. <laughs> Mr. President, to make it legal for you to accept a Girl Scout badge, <laughs> may I now have the honor of investing you as the newest Girl Scout member? <laughs> Supposed to stay here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting worried there for a minute. Well, now you're the honorary president, and I'm an honorary Girl Scout. Does that make me the first lady? <laughs> well, good afternoon and welcome to all of you. Many important events are held in this room, but this one is really special. Nancy and I are delighted to help celebrate this second, 72nd anniversary of the Girl Scouts of the, of the USA. And let me add that Nancy's very proud to serve as your national honorary president. The true test of a society is not the size of its cities or the bounty of its countryside, but the kind of people that a country turns out. And America turns out winners, and much of the credit belongs to organizations like the Girl Scouts. Young people hunger for learning and guidance. There's a spark in all of us which can light up our lives, elevate our values, broaden our tolerance, and increase our appetite for knowledge. We're all blessed with courage, love, and laughter. 72 years ago, Juliet Gordon Lowe challenged her scouts to achieve the highest ideals of character, conduct, patriotism, and community service. The challenge became a movement and the movement a marvelous national institution. America is very fortunate to have had Juliet Lowe and to have her Girl Scouts USA. Eighteen Savannah girls took up the initial challenge and then Juliet Lowe went to work. As she put it, I've got something for the girls of Savannah and all America and all the world and we're going to start it tonight. She traveled across our country with boundless energy, determination, selling the Girl Scout idea and organizing new troops. One of the great lessons of life is that if you set high standards and do your best to live up to them, you'll never go wrong. That's what Juliet Lowe did so well. At the time of her death in 1927, there were nearly 168,000 Girl Scouts with troops all across our nation. And the Girl Scouts USA has grown ever since, always offering a positive challenge and the opportunity to explore experience and have fun. You've brightened our day by being here, just as your work has brightened a lot of other days for millions of Americans, both young and not so young. Girl Scouts community service and conservation projects enrich us all. Your national and international programs foster understanding and friendship. And I've always believed the starting point of all cooperation between people and among groups and nations is genuine, heartfelt understanding. 
We only get in trouble when we're talking about each other instead of to each other. Girl Scout leadership training helps our young people gain strength and confidence and ambition. And you turn out winners. Homemakers and businesswomen, performing artists, media stars and government leaders, members of the United States Congress, diplomats and astronauts. But let me just mention a few in our administration that came from your ranks. Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, our UN Ambassador Jean Kirkpatrick, and our Secretary of Transportation Elizabeth Dole. And in August, someone who's been mentioned here, a your President, astronaut Rhea Seddon will become the first former Girl Scout in space. Many of the best and the brightest have been Girl Scouts, and today we're witnessing a rebirth of concern and involvement that's a broad and wonderful reawakening of the American spirit. It's a spirit that the Girl Scouts have held for 72 years, and with God's help, you will hold it high forever. When we celebrate the Girl Scouts, we're also celebrating America. And thank you very much. God bless you all. God bless the Girl Scouts, and I see something that is coming in the door right now. Now, you, we go down. Thank <laughs> you.